it's me Ashley and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today guys I'm going to do for you a little get ready with me tricky chatty video. I've got some questions that I've asked you guys on my Instagram and I'm going to answer them. Okay yeah, so I've got no makeup on. I just thought I'd do a little get ready with me kind of style video. I've asked um, if some of you guys to give me some questions on Instagram. I've got them on my phone just in front of me. I've also got kind of my makeup I use regularly. This isn't like a makeup tutorial, just FYI. This is just me going to pop up pop on my kind of day-to-day -day really quick makeup and just have a little chat with you because that's what I thought I'd do. <laughs> so yeah, this isn't a tutorial. I don't profess to be a professional. I can kind of let you know what I'm doing and what I'm using, but you don't need to follow me if you know what I mean. So I've started my face doing my usual daily routine. I use some uh, salicylic acid face wash. I have popped on my eye serum and then face serum. My serum I used for my face today was Garnier's hyaluronic acid that's got like aloe and stuff in it. And then I popped on a bit of Superdrug's Vitamin E um, a Daily SPF Moisturiser. I don't feel like I said that right, but there we go. I've got a mirror just down there in front of me I'm going to look at. So if I'm looking down, that's what it is. Um, I don't have a taller table at the minute. <laughs> so I might need to find one for in here, but the mirror's there. So if I'm looking down a lot, that's where it is. So yeah, I am a disgusting non-makeup mess at the minute. Um, I've got a dodgy bit of skin on my nose, I think from having like hair fever so much. Dark eyes, various bits and bobs going on. So yeah, I know I'm not particularly attractive and I don't know if the makeup will help all that much. <laughs> So anyway, I'm just gonna crack on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use some primer. This one's nearly run out, so I'm hoping it's got some left. I do have some more. Um, so the first question I'm gonna answer, and it's probably the hardest question of the whole bunch. Um, someone said, how are you? And usually for me, somebody says, how you doing, you all right? It's like, uh, you're all right, are you all right? And it's, <laughs> you're fine. Never answer it, honestly. Does anybody ever answer that question, honestly? Um, I'm all right. I'm very tired at the minute. Very, very tired. Just seem to have low energy levels and I can't seem to do anything with them. Um, my doctors I've been back and forth to quite a lot recently, trying to figure out what's wrong with me because I've got various issues. In fact, the last time I was there, I think I took like an A4 sheet that I'd completely filled both sides of. And it's like, let's start working our way through it instead of tackling everything at once. And I was like, sure. <laughs> so the minute I'm waiting to go to a sleep clinic um, is, because uh, they'll see, apparently if you struggle sleeping or get a decent quality sleep, that can affect lots of elements of your health, apparently. So they want to start with that. <laughs> We've started with various other things and taking all sorts of vitamins and whatnot, but constantly seem to be ill a lot and very exhausted at the minute. That's that's kind of my life. And then hair fever. It's just one of the things where every single thing takes a lot out of here at the minute and heat doesn't help, but then neither does the bloody brain because I feel happier when it's sunny. Anyway, that's I, I don't think that was a very good answer. Um, next, I'm going to use some Conceal and Define um, foundation. I'm using the shade F5. Um, I was mixing F5 and F7 together until recently. Um, when there's just not been enough sun to give me that glow enough. And I am just l randomly popping lights on my face. <laughs> um, there's no finesse to this. And I know some people don't like to use this on the skin, but it's only me that uses it. I put it on a clean face. What else? And then I use a, this is literally just new, but I have used it. And once you've used it, it never quite gets clean again. This is a real technique sponge. This is how I like to do my, do my, do my stuff. This is going to be another chaotic one, isn't it? Um, I will have to keep looking back at my phone to remember what questions people have asked me because I'm nothing if not forgetful. I've got a fair few, so um, I'll probably just kind of grab them in a random order so it's not necessarily going to flow. <laughs> but you know, that's me. That's how we do things. Um, like I say, I am not perfect at this by any means. This is just kind of slap dash at the minute. I like to try to bring it down my neck to blend it in a little bit, but then that always seems to go wrong somehow. <laughs> um, so, somebody's asked me, what do you do for work? Um, I don't know if I've ever discussed this on here. Maybe in passing, I don't know. Um, I work with adults with learning disabilities. Um, we work 
I, we work, I work at a day centre that is actually run by Chris's parents. This is how I met Chris. <laughs> and um, we do lots of different things. It's, I like to think it's quite a, what's the word? I don't know, somebody was saying like, if you describe what you did, it's like you actually do lots of jobs in one because we do various things you know computer sessions I run some nail art little sessions um we do arts and crafts and things we go out into the community we um photography uh, just so many things as well as a bit of care and just being there for people and uh, bits and bobs also lots of behind the scenes stuff that's important um I have a group that at the minute we are running um a newsletter that goes out every two months um which takes up quite a bit of my time, but in and out of work. <laughs> and so that's fun. Right, wrong colour concealer. Next, I'm going to use the matching concealer for um, the Conceal and Define Revolution to conceal. And um, again, I just dot it about. Um, I tend to go a little bit this side of my eye, a little bit of that side, so it brings it up a little bit. But this is, like I say, I'm not an expert. This is just me filming me getting ready. Really, kind of tend to just bit on there, bit on here, bit up there. I told you, it's not professional. Because I'm looking, I don't know if it's the lights, but I'm very, very pale on the screen. <laughs> anyway, again, I'll just use my sponge to kind of whack that in there. At the minute, like I said, I'm struggling with this bit of nose because it just always seems to look red at the minute. And now I've done that, I feel like I want to sneeze. Um. Okay, so yeah, I work with, adult le with learning disabilities. I have been at the company now for over 15 years. And while I'm at it, that is another question that I've had. Um, how long have you and Chris been together? Chris and I have been together 14 years gone February. <laughs> and if you ask Chris, I'm sure you'd get a different answer because he's hopeless with knowing how long anything is. <laughs> he even tells people the wrong age for how old he is. He's, he's that. I have forgotten my contoury thing with the look of it, so I'm just going to pause the video and I will be right back. <laughs> Got it. It's just a revolution, conceal and define in a darker colour. It's C15, which is blatantly far too dark, but I bought it. So, <laughs> and again, I just kind of dot this about. Sometimes I'll only do um, these bits. I mean, looking in the viewfinder instead of actually in the mirror, so I don't feel like they're in the right place. <laughs> But it's fine, sometimes I'll do my nose for already bits, but tends to, if I'm just rushing, I tend to just do these bits and I've lately now put far too much on just because I'm twittering away. And I've just not my makeup brush on the floor. Then I use a um, buffing brush, I think it is. Expert foundation brush from Real Techniques to just kind of blend it in. Definitely put too much on. Um, so I say, oh Chris, Chris and I have been together for 14 years, uh, gone February, it's been a long time, <laughs> you'd probably get less for murder or whatever these days, <laughs> um, but oh yeah, we met um, in the December at a works party for the clients, um, <laughs> I always remember it because we were taking out the sandwiches and things for this Christmas party and I always remember he sh let a door slam in my face while I was carrying these sandwiches. Such a gentleman. Um, but yeah, and then we started seeing each other in the January and I think officially some date in February, but neither of us have an official date. So we just try and make a little fuss around Valentine's Day. And because it was 2010, it's quite easy to remember that how many years. Um, but unless you're Chris, obviously, unless you're Chris. And next thing, why oh, can't I find anything today? I am using a milk makeup little blush stick where I tend to just draw a bit of a line on either side. And then just kind of rub that in with my fingers usually. Like I said, this is an expert makeup. <laughs> it really isn't. Okay, I'm, I'm, my phone's locked again, so I now need to go and look for the next question. Um, I have been asked, what are my YouTube goals for this year? Um, probably just the same as always, to actually try and upload two videos <laughs> a week. Um, 
which I can be quite rubbish at because, like I say, a lot of the times I've had like various health stuff that always seems to be something. And I'm, at the minute, I'm really struggling with tiredness, um, really struggling. I did hear um, something once about how like you have you start the day, I can't remember which was the terminology used, but let's say coins. You have so many coins to spend a day um, and each activity costs you so many coins. Now, some people will have an infinite amount of coins, but for some people you might only have 20 coins and it costs you like 10 just to get out of bed. And I do have days where it does feel like that. Um, and sorry, now I'm using a highlighter that I got from a uh, glossy box it's do you in the shade claire and i just put a little dot a couple of dots on my high points um so yeah some days i just i do struggle to get everything done as well as obviously going to work sorting the dogs out sorting myself out sometimes um i just always seem to have an endless list of things that i want to accomplish and never quite do um but i am trying with youtube because i do enjoy it and it is nice so i would like to grow my channel and get more subscribers disney videos seem to help when we go do our vlog in there lots of people seem to like appear around that time so obviously with us going back in september and i will be uploading vlogs towards the end of the year that will probably help with my channel so i'm on 2150 something subscribers i think at the moment as i'm filming this and i would love to hit 3000 by the end of the year but i don't really feel like that's um necessarily doable but you never know you never know and that kind of ties in to another question that i got that i'll go for next uh, but i'm just going to pop on some elf hd powder um i tend to you just pop a little in the lid well that's probably quite a lot then what i like to do my sister got me this um tc beauty um little sponge i tend to like dot a bit under my eye to keep that kind of a bit smoother the last powder i was using i've just changed back to this i felt like it gave me proper white under my eyes whenever i did anything or tried to so and again i just usually do that on like all the creasy areas a little bit on my forehead um what's in oh it ties it into another question that i got asked and i'm just going to use a bit of a brush to kind of just work it around most of my face to set all that makeup that we've just done um yeah so it leads into another question i will get to answer the questions of uh, what videos have i got coming up so as i've done this one i've got a video waiting to put up which is um starting to plan disney outfits with me um that was just more of a bit of a crazy video i felt <laughs> i didn't know if i had like any i hadn't planned it i just kind of like i'm gonna get like these videos in my head sorry these outfits in my head and i might as well talk to you guys through it while i'm doing it because <laughs> like, it wasn't planned i felt it was a bit chaotic i don't really know if you got much out of it but you got it oh it just shows you a little bit about what it's like to be in my head really and um, i don't even know sometimes so god knows what this video is like by the way because my brain i don't think it's been working properly this week um like just this morning i was doing um the shopping list with chris and i for the life of me just couldn't think of some of the things i wanted um sorry next physician's formula but a bronzer i do like i tend to do that around the contour areas and then again like around the edges of my face just to kind of warm it all up a bit and then i usually like to go down onto my neck as well um, so yes, there's other videos coming up. I've got things I want to do all the time. Just can't always get there, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, so what else have I got coming up? Um, I've got this top drawer over here. It's full of stuff I want to do for a try at Tuesday. I just don't always get round to it. Um, there's a drawer full. If there's anything ever you want to see me try out, just drop me comments on videos or hit me up in my Instagram and i will try my best <laughs> do you know i can never find in my brushes my eyebrow brush terrible there it is um but sorry other than that i've been working on a set of disney videos that are taking a while <laughs> because i'm having to like write out what i want to say first and then do them what i'm kind of doing is i kind of wanted to do a little bit of informative videos really rather than just um 
here's what we did. Um, I wanted to do a video, my most passionate piece of a video I'm gonna be doing, and I have planned it and I've recorded half of it and stuff. I wanna do a video about why I think Animal Kingdom is worth a visit and it's not just a half a day park because I see so many people talking about Animal Kingdom as if it's a half a day park, as if there's not much to do, and genuinely it's my favourite park. As you know, you're probably sick of hearing me saying that. Um, so I just want to do a video kind of explaining what I think there is to do, why I think it's so bloody amazing, the things that you maybe don't even know about that you're not doing, um, and things like that. So it's, so it's a video I kind of wrote bits of a script for to read out and then I'm going to put a video to it. I've wrote like a half of a script and I've recorded half of that and then I need to write the other half and then put the videos to it. So I'm hoping to get a couple of videos a bit like that, maybe one that's kind of like, what is Disney World? Um, Cause I know a lot of people like say to me, oh, you're going again? You know, they think it's just a park and you know, there's a bit more to it. So I thought just a couple of informative Disney videos and I was thinking maybe if I can get them ready for September while we're away. Um, so next, sorry, eyebrows, I'm gonna, spray a bit of Maybelline Lasting Fix Spray on that just to get it on. I am using what I, I used to use Anastasia Dip Brow but that's expensive and since then I've been using Revolutions Pro um, Expert Brow Pomade in Dark Brown and it seems to work quite well. Um, so yeah I've got some Disney videos. I've always got like a ple can you hear Jake whining in the background? He's done nothing but whine today. I don't know. He's had a walk. We've been out. He's been fed. <laughs> <laughs> but he's just so hard done to. Um, so yes, uh, oh, sorry, obviously, so many videos. Um, so yes, yeah, so there's a selection of like more informative Disney videos that I want to do. Hi, Jakey. Jakey's just down here by my side now. You can see his wagging tail in the camera. <laughs> um, so Disney videos. Obviously, I've got vlogs coming because when we go in September, I do plan on vlogging. Um, it's possibly going to be a more relaxed trip I think. Um, Chris has let me take the reins this time in planning. Usually he likes to draw us up a timetable and fit something every hour of every day but he said basically he's happy to just go with the flow this time and he thinks that sometimes he takes organisation a little bit too far. Um, we've just been um, for his birthday we went to York and he had planned like food for like pretty much every hour and a half <laughs> and it was just wasn't doable and I think he just felt like he'd let the team down because we had to stop and we had to not eat much more I mean I didn't eat anywhere near as much as he had um, and it's not very often Chris admits he feels full <laughs> um, so I think that's made him think I don't have to go and eat all these things I don't have to go and do all this um, He's like, just because other people like food um, doesn't mean I have to try it. So I think he sees a lot of videos. Oh, hello? Hi. I'm just talking about you. Oh, yeah. We're talking about food. Cool. Um, That's what you're talking about. So, um, um, my train of thought has just gone. Chris has just come back from the shops. Um, so, yeah, more relaxed feels than Disney videos. We've got a couple of restaurants booked. Um, I've managed to get just a couple of days ago because it's now what, what am I on 57 sleeps as I'm filming this. Um, so I'm excited. We've got some different restaurants that we've not been to. We've got um, we've got plan on going back to a few that we have, and then I've actually got a bit carried away myself, um, and I've made like a PowerPoint presentation of snacks <laughs> that we haven't tried yet, and I just keep adding to that when I see things because I think with Disney it's not just like going to a random theme park and seeing what you fancy. There's so much, so you have to plan a little bit and know where the good stuff is. Um, so I do like watching lots of videos, DFB, um, Mammoth Club, All Ears and things like that I find really helpful. And then watching other people's vlogs to see what they've done because everybody's different. Um, so yeah, I am gonna pause now and go help Chris bring the shopping in and then I will get back to you and more questions. I'm back. Um, so what was I asked? What was the last question? <laughs> Uh, was it about what videos I've got coming up? Was that it? I've just noticed, by the way, um, one of my nails fell off the other day, so if you notice that. Sorry, I have got it on a mental prep back on and I forgot. Life. Um, so yeah, I've got various videos. If there's any videos you'd like to see, always hit me up, drop me a comment below now if there's anything you think that you want to see from me. And um, 
I'll keep posted. But yeah, I've got lots of Disney stuff coming up because we've got a Disney trip coming up. Like I said, 57 sleeps, I'm really excited. <laughs> oh, I've lost, I left my highlighter in the bedroom, but I'll use a different one. I'll use my Colourpop Flexitarian one, which I tend to use more of for my eyes at the minute because it's extra shiny, but we'll just use it today. I usually just pop a bit of highlighter on the high points of my cheeks. Just a little bit, doesn't it be crazy? Sometimes a little bit, a little bit on there. I'm, I'm literally using the viewfinder as my mirror. I'm finding that I'm not even looking at that one, so God knows what this is gonna look like when I come off here, but it's fine, it's fine. So yeah, lots of different videos. Let me know if there's anything you want, basically. Lots of Disney coming up. Um, let's find another question. Da, 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 da. By the way, a lot of these questions I did find were quite Disney related. I know I said any like anything whatsoever, just whatever you want. A lot were Disney related. Um, a favorite ride in Disneyland Paris. Um, I think I'm gonna say Tower of Terror. Um, next bit of blush. Sorry. Um, number seven. Tower of Terror, I think. I think the one in Paris is actually a bit better than the one in America. I feel like it does more ups and downs. Although I have found out apparently like the American one is kind of randomized. So you get something different a little bit every time. But the one in Paris doesn't really have all the pre run up type of a thing. There's not as much going around and stuff. And I quite like that, that it just gets straight into it. Because obviously once you've been on it, you've been on it. I'm just gonna blend that out a bit because it looks rather pink on there. <laughs> Then what I usually do is a spray of my face with this. Um, other notable rides in Paris, I think um, Crush's Coaster was really fun. Though um, Disney in um, Florida do have it beat because I think the next, the comparable one in Disney would be in Epcot, the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, and that's amazing. So a favourite ride in Paris is definitely Tower of Terror, but I do like their, uh, they have some better versions actually of some of the rides I think. Like I say, I think the uh, Tower of Terror is probably better. The um, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad's quite good. They've got a big explosion in that one, um, which I don't think they have in Florida. The Pirates of the Caribbean's got a couple of drops. That's quite fun. Uh been a little while since we've been I'm trying to remember they've got some cute little storybook rides and things um it's a very pretty tall castle as well and uh, it's not a ride I know I'm just talking random stuff I'm just trying to think it through in my head the Indiana Jones coaster there is pretty good but it lasts like 20 seconds <laughs> so if that was longer that would be cool um when we were there last a lot of the studio side was closed because they were making the Marvel stuff so we haven't tried any of that yet and they're currently building the Frozen stuff so I'm hoping maybe we can get back once they open the Frozen land and whatnot because I think I believe they're building a Tangled ride as well which is pretty cool so yeah that was a really blabby answer wasn't it probably Tower of Terror <laughs> um, and we discussed it before but while we're doing it I might as well just chuck in my favourite ride at Disney World I think it's got to be Everest, Expedition Everest in Animal Kingdom because I just love, love, love it. It makes me giggle so, so much every time. Uh, I just find I really enjoy it every single time. Absolutely love it. And it's probably, possibly even the ride we've been on the most there because the queue moves pretty quick. Um, it's not always got a huge queue and it gets, like I say, it gets through pretty, pretty well. By the time you come off, you can probably head around and be back on it again in like 10 minutes. Um, a lot of the time anyway, depends on your time, I suppose. Busier times of year is probably a little worse. Uh, that's probably um, second place, Guardians of the Galaxy, like I said, that's super duper fun. Um, so that's Epcot, I suppose I'll pick a ride per pack. Um, at Hollywood Studios. Yeah, probably Tower of Terror again. I do really love that and I love going on with people who haven't been on before because it's so funny. <laughs> um, yeah, but there's a couple of cool rides obviously in Hollywood Studios. It's got quite a lot. Um, probably the best part of character meet and greets, I think. Um, so Animal Kingdom, I've got some Magic Kingdom. Hmm. I probably want to say, sorry, I shadow now using a Jacqueline Hill Morphe palette. Um, I probably want to say Little Mermaid, the journey of a little mermaid. Is that under the sea? Why the heck? I don't think what it's called. Anyway, that one. Because um, that just brings childhood nostalgia 
for me um but it's they're a lot more not necessarily kiddie rides but they're not as thrill ridey there so i would say journey under the sea little mermaid wherever it's called i don't really remember what it's called but space mountain's always fun buzz like you it's good laugh because chris likes to beat me um not a big fan of the people mover i know that that's popular not a big fan of it's a small world i don't find peter pan's a flight to be worth the wait time um haunted mansions always a decent little trip but once you've been on it you don't you know you know what you're expecting really don't you but it's always fun um like i said big thunder Mil Ratten mountain railroad's pretty good tron was disappointing because it's very 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 short um That's a long way of just saying a little mermaid ride. <laughs> Let's move on to do some more questions. Um, I need to find them. Oh, there we go. Here's the one. Oh, here's Christopher. Where would you like it, Dan? Just on here, thank you. He's bringing me a cup of coffee. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> no um, sorry, next question. How's the planning for Disney in September? Oh, hi, Luna. How's the planning for Disney in September going? Grand. Um, like I say, we're going to do a little bit more relaxed. Um, possibly over there. I'll see if I can find it. I'll show you the sheet I've been planning in a minute. And I would say it's going well. Like I said, a bit more relaxed. We, on Sunday, just gone and filming this on the Wednesday, we were able to book in our restaurant reservations. And I have got the ones that we planned on getting, which is good. So, this is the Disney reservations. We still don't know about Universal and stuff. We've been on an hour for some of those. We will definitely be getting in there a Shake Shack for Chris, some Cheesecake Factory visits, um, head back for some brunch at Hash House at Go-Go. And Disney-wise... We're going to go back to Tony's Town Square restaurant because we liked that last time. Um, they've got the giant mozzarella sticks and whatnot. And then I'm trying to think what restaurants we've booked now. My brain's just kind of gone. I was hoping to maybe get in another Steakhouse 71 because I like the Veg Wellington, but then I also want to try some new places. So we have booked to go to Sanaa, which is at Animal Kingdom Lodge because I'd always wanted to go there. We want to try that bread service because that looks amazing. And what else is there they've got various things but also we get to go have a little look around the animal kingdom lodge see the um animals chris wants to go get there's a brownie he's seen in the mara is it quick service and yeah so that i'm trying to think what other reservations i've made i know i'm mid-form my brain's going on oh animal kingdom we're going to tusker house for lunch you get to meet daisy donald um mickey and goofy yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it's a buffet. Looks really good, like African American inspired. Um, I've booked us in, managed to snag a reservation for Space 220, which we're not 100% sure if we want to do. But I figured if we've got the book in, we can always drop in. Somebody else will pick that up really quick. I've also booked us in for the Space 220 lounge on the same day, just in case we decide maybe that's more out of style because um, they're really hard reservations to snag. But I was there for bang on the time. In fact, I was waiting a half an hour and kept refreshing the page. <laughs> Not everything. I felt like there was one more, but maybe there wasn't. Um, oh yeah, I was going to find the sheet. Give me a minute. I don't know what I did with the freshly printed one, but basically... <laughs> we got a little spreadsheet of things that I wanted to get done. Maybe I didn't print out a new one. But basically it's going there like travel day for each day. I've said which park we're going to do. Idea for breakfast, for lunch, for tea. Um, there's a fair few like gaps on there still. So we can fill it in. The yellow ones are the ones that needed reservations. Um, so I've secured most of those apart from like the city walk ones. Um, but it's also things like breakfast. It just says we'll do in-room shopping, lunch, park, snacks. So it's not crazy specific. And then on some days, even for like um, food, <laughs> I've got like several options. Like we could go to the Cheesecake Factory, head to Disney Springs, go to a quick service, order take out to the resort, you know. <laughs> so we've got some options. Um, but you do have to obviously plan a little bit when it comes to Disney because if I hadn't have 
secured those reservations 60 days out then you probably can miss out sometimes you can get on like walk up wait lists and things but often if it's a popular restaurant you probably will miss out if you're not there ready to get that reservation so yeah that's important um clothes planning you will have seen me start to plan that i've also been looking again and I have been writing down now the outfits that I've got because Disney packing feels a lot more not stressful for me but like more thought has to go into it if that makes sense going back in with this highlighter to um pop some on my eyes this time because I like how shiny shiny it is um yes and also I don't I, I tend to overpack because I want something for every eventuality which I don't really need um and then I end up with not much space for bringing things back but I do like Disney dressing. I do like to, like, just get, like, <laughs> I like to look the part because I think, feel like my people are Disney people and the people there who compliment my outfits are people who are very me type of people. <laughs> um, so I do like dressing for Disney. I do like a mix of dressing up and looking really nice and fancy and just chilling out because it's very warm. Um, yeah, so I'm probably blabbing at the minute because, but there was another question actually that possibly relates to that, what we've just been talking about. Let me just double check what the question was. I'm really rubbish at remembering everything. Um, where are your favorite places to shop for your Disney outfits? Now, if we're talking outfits to go to Disney and just general theme. I do love looking on Shein because they've got so many things that are quite cheap. And a lot of my outfits I've worn at Disney in the past have been from Shein. Like my favorite animal print dress was from Shein. The flower and garden flowery dress I wore last year was from Shein. Um, not strictly all Shein, <laughs> but I do think that's a good place to look for a nice themed outfit because they've got so much on there for a decent price. Um, and they can kind of come really quickly so i do tend to like that for looking for things and i got that dress that was kind of aerial themed that was really cool got that nice harry potter dress from there to wear this time um so yeah and also like hair accessories and things i tend to from there because they're super cheap um i managed to get some like little tiny mini and uh, mini mickey clips as well and things from there there's just so much on there so yeah i do tend to do that i'm just going to spread out my eyes with a bit of this Um, often I will use a little thin detailing brush to pop a bit of highlight in the corner of my eye but I can't see the thing I usually use so I'm just going to go in with this highlighter again and see how that looks. You'll do. It kind of blends in a bit with that though but that's fine it's not the one I was planning on using but I haven't got that in front of me and I just can't bother to go get it. <laughs> don't while we're talking um primark is another amazing place for disney themed clothes they have so many disney things you can get decent disney bags that are almost lounge fly lounge fly knockoffs um that are really cheap i've got some disney t-shirts from there i'm taking this time um and again the don't break the bank primark but there's so many things there they even do their own ears um so that's really good so i always suggest looking in primark if you've got a disney trip coming up always um where else have i bought things from i'm trying to think now because i've got bits from all over obviously it's like my lounge flies and things i bought a lot of them from geek car i think some are from truffle shuffle oh, I've got, that one's from the parks <laughs> um yeah i'm sorry i'm just looking at them now my ears again uh primark disney parks uh lounge fly i've got a pair of lounge fly ears um my brain is suddenly gone because I had a few places. Cake worthy stuff, by the way. Cake worthy stuff is lovely. I have an aerial dress, but they do lots of Disney stuff. You can get cake worthy on a few websites if you shop around. I think they do do them on like Truffle Shuffle and things, um, or their own websites. And you might find some other sites that they're on because they are a brand. Um, they're really nice brands. They do lots of Disney stuff. My aerial dress last time, I got lots of compliments on that. Um, they can be pricier. Um, right, I'm gonna use a roller lash. For my eyeshadow, eyeshadow for my mascara because I was using their reel. I've had it out like about a week, this new one, and I haven't got a clue where I've put it. I spent most of yesterday morning looking for it. I've checked my handbag and everywhere. I haven't got a clue. So I'm gonna use a roller lash today, and this is a new one. Um, so where else do I get Disney clothes from? 
I think you can just shop about everywhere. Asda, occasionally in the George section will have some decent bits and bobs. Um, in my head, when I saw this question, I was like, I can answer this, there's so many things. Well, I think you just need to look around. I've got some bits from Disney itself. I do love a spirit jersey. Um, Again, where have, I, where have I bought stuff from? Boohoo, I've had some Disney stuff in the past. When I had a look the other day, it seemed to mostly just be men's stuff, but you know, you can do unisex. I've just bought a Scar t-shirt from Poundland, Pound, yeah, it's Poundland, isn't it? Um, Poundland, that was five pounds. The Pep and Co, I think it's called, isn't it? Um, and that was a men's t-shirt with Scar on, where it was a fiver. And they did have a couple of Disney 5 ones in there, so that's a place. I think lots of places you don't even realise do them. When I was searching online the other day, like Next had a selection, Matlan had a couple of bits. Um, it's just a case of looking. But my first part of call would always be Primark for Disney stuff because it's cheap, it's official Disney, it's decent. Um, like I say, Sheen's good for if you're looking for a particular theme, they've got so much. And you can try them on, send stuff back. Um, and they do a variety of different flowy dresses, pretty dresses, t-shirts, this and that. Um, so I do recommend always having a little look about on there. Um, if I think on, I could maybe try and put some links one day in like my Instagram stuff, so some Disney stuff I've found. ASOS occasionally have some Disney t-shirts. I think they've got a selection of unisex ones on there at the minute. Um, I was having a look the other day, there was one or two, but they weren't necessarily me. Because, um, you know, I like to be different. <laughs> the Disney, Shop Disney itself, you can get lots of stuff on there. Um, I was having a flick through that the other day. i tell you what I would love at the minute. I'm trying to find like more Daisy Duck stuff, because I absolutely love Daisy, she's so sassy. Um, I'd love a Daisy Duck bag, but I can't really find any. A lot of the lounge flies they had of hers are kind of like out of stock everywhere at the minute. Um, what else? What else have I tried? Yeah, and just, just Daisy accessories, because I was hoping to do a Daisy look for one of the days when I was at Disney, um, but struggling a little bit to find some Daisy stuff. If you want Minnie or Mickey, they're everywhere. <laughs> Even Donald, really, but it's a lot harder to get Daisy, and I just think she's such a queen. She's amazing. I want a Disney look, a Daisy look, sorry. A Daisy Disney, Daisy Duck 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 Duck. <laughs> wow. Um, so, yeah, the answer is shop around all over. Always start by checking Primark and Sheen are my go to go to's. Um, I do find, like I say, ASOS and Boohoo occasionally, George Asda various bits and bobs. If you want lounge flies, like I say, Geek Core tend to be really, really good for that. Um, I've got a couple from Truffle Shuffle as well. Um, and if you have anywhere in particular that you'll hit up for your Disney things, um, Disney outfits, let me know because um, that's always good to know. And if anybody's interested then, I will try and maybe put some on my Instagram or on my Disney Instagram, some links of stuff I find. Um, because I am starting to look a little bit for some extra bits for outfits. I have got a decent selection, I think, there. But I like something different for each park, and then we've got a couple of days in each park, and I want it to be different, don't I? <laughs> if possible, I'd be taking 14 lounge flies, 14 outfits, and then some extra bits as well. <laughs> Crocs as well, I will recommend for uh, Disney parks. Uh, Crocs sandals and things they don't have to be the standard Crocs they do so many and they are really really good for comfort in the parks I found that out the hard way last time my bands suited me just fine the very first time we went I think the last time like, I said my feet swelled and just nothing seemed to do anything I won't go on if you've watched my vlogs you know how bloody nightmarish they were my feet um, I remember there was a question on here before I go looking too deep. What's your favourite animal? Because obviously when I go to Disney I love them all. Um, and I do. Uh, my favourite animal ever, it's probably easy to guess, I love dogs. In fact I've got them on my t-shirt today. I've got a uh, dogs make me happy and humans hurt my head. And this is from Sheen actually, I think my sister bought me this. Um, yeah, so doggies. Always gonna be doggies. But I do love all animals. I think animals are just better than people. Sorry. <laughs> Not sorry. 
dogs are just amazing but i do love all animals um the gorillas at disney as you'll know absolutely have my heart i cannot wait to go see them but i just love them all the lions are so great there the elephants i can't wait to see baby cora and just just all animals are just amazing um there's pandas i'd love to see some pandas i've never seen a panda in person um love pandas love like i say all sorts but dogs dogs are the bestest animal in the world they're the bestest anything in the world really Um, let's find some more questions. What are you most excited for when you go to Disney this time? Honestly, I'm just really excited just to get back in the whole Disney atmosphere. I just think it just feels different. Um, don't get me wrong, there can be annoying bits to Disney. Um, Magic Kingdom days in particular seem quite kitty heavy and I know last time it felt like there was a lot of screaming kids who were getting dragged on rides so that's not my uh, cup of tea but um just the whole atmosphere particularly animal kingdom I'm really looking forward like I said to go and see the animals seeing Gino the gorilla little just in his family um seeing baby Cora hopefully on the safari um doing lots of different things that we haven't done before doing things we have um I'm going to try and drag Chris on the new Tiana buy your adventure ride <laughs> don't think he's keen on water rides as you will well know um but that does look super cute so i'd like to go do that um so tusca house is new looking forward to seeing what that's about really looking forward to going to animal kingdom lodge and sanaa that's like the dream kind of bucket list disney hotel um one of those with a savannah view would be amazing honestly just being there i think it's the whole atmosphere i think it brings out a side of me <laughs> chris chris says i'm like an excited five-year-old when i get to disney <laughs> i think it's just it is just the whole atmosphere of it all it's just really really just, if you watch my vlogs you, you you know you know i did have a couple of questions wrote down on a piece of paper that i didn't screenshot and i have no idea where i put that piece of paper just fyi I'm trying to remember the questions that were on that piece of paper. Because <laughs> I don't know where I put it. I know I put it somewhere safe, but when I was doing this video, one of the questions on there was the favourite animal one. I remember that. Um, oh, what was your favourite subject in school? That was on there. Um, I think probably um, like English and art were things I really liked. I tend to like a more creative side of things. Um, didn't particularly like school, um, to be honest wasn't the easiest time in the world but we're out on the other side now um oh God. there was like there was only like four or five questions we're trying to remember them i'm really sorry if you've asked them uh don't know if my friend's just gone tea or coffee i like to drink black coffee don't really like milk um milk's not something I like and I used to love tea used to just coffee on occasions but these days it's um coffee all the way my drinks of choice tend to be coffee water and wine I need to put some lipstick on um oh no we're running out of battery and we're almost finished let me just sort the battery and I'll say bye <laughs> Okay, fresh battery. That probably means I've gone on too long, doesn't it? Um, I've just randomly picked up a lipstick out of the my lipstick drawer, which is the top drawer over here. Ooh, it was really, <laughs> it was a number seven one. I thought it was just like um, a nude colour, but I forgot it was in the advent calendar. And it's very sparkly. Look at that. Um, so yeah, I'll just whack a bit of this on. It's maybe a bit too pale for this look. Maybe I don't know. Uh, yeah, and then what I'll say is they'll call that there for today. If you have enjoyed this video, let me know and then I can film another one this style, collect some more questions, maybe find the rest of the questions. <laughs> Sorry. Um, any hoodles. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, do me a favour, hit that like button, give me a huge thumbs up. Drop me a comment if there's any videos you'd like to see from me, if you'd like to see something like this again. Any other ideas, let me know where you get your Disney stuff from. Um, anything else we've mentioned. <laughs> what do you think of the, the makeup, by the way? I have no idea, I haven't really looked at it properly. It's all right, it's pretty standard, it'll do. <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you so so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed so you can stick around and see more crazy Ashley and um, Have a wonderful time. Take care guys, and I will see you again very very soon. Bye-bye